like structures. So these are circumvallate papillae. There are two other types of papillae on our tongue, which are filiform and fungiform. The reason why we know these are circumvallate is because yeah, so they have taste buds. So for the most part, almost all our taste buds are found in the circumvallate papillae. There are none in the filiform, and there are very few, very, very few in the fungiform. But, so for the most part, they're so valid. Very few. Very few in the filiform? Fungiform. So that's how we know these are these are almost certainly circumvallate okay. Okay. Structures here, 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 here. Gustatories. Gustatory cells? The entire thing is a taste bud. These grape like structures, right? These are taste buds. Within them, you have gustatory cells and supporting cells. Um, they're epithelial cells like, around them. There's also like the basal cells. My students, you don't need to know that. Can't remember. So we just need to know that they're taste buds? The entire structure is taste buds. With the gustatory cells inside of them. cells and sporting cells inside of them. So if you see right here at the edge, there are these like black dots. What structures are found there? Gustatory hairs? And gustatory hairs. Or so, can you say cilia? They are cilia, but they're given just a special name called gustatory hairs. So, what is the function of the gustatory hairs? Chemoreceptor? Well, the whole gustatory cell is a chemoreceptor. Is it T-cell? Can How? What kind of receptors are they? Chemoreceptors. And chemoreceptors are stimulated by what? Chemicals. Chemicals. In a solution. In a solution. All right. You guys all did the, the taste uh, experiment, like where you dried off your tongue, and you guys couldn't taste anything, right? And the reason for that is because the receptors need the chemicals dissolved in a solution, which is your saliva in your mouth, in order to be stimulated, right? And in our nose, they need to, the, the same thing for the olfactory receptors, they need those chemicals dissolved in a solution, which for our nose is, our, is like mucus. It's not in our nose to dissolve those chemicals, or else they won't be stimulated. Yeah? So the gustatory hairs is what gives us that solution to dissolve? They bind the chemicals. Oh, they bind the chemicals. Just like the, the cilia, or the dendrite por dendritic portion of the olfactory receptors, which extends out into the epithelial, or the nasal cavity, that bind the chemicals, the gustatory hairs bind those chemicals in solution. They bind the chemicals in the solution? Yeah. Right? 
right? You need chemicals dissolved in a solution. Not broken down, just dissolved. We good?